Welcome back. In this video, we're going to start to take a look at how to record some of what we call adjust entries, which are typically done at the end of the counting period to bring certain account balances up to date. Let's start by working through these transactions one by one. The first transaction says that on August 1st, the company purchased $200 of supplies for cash. This one's a pretty easy one to start with. Uh, let's begin with cash. Since we purchased supplies and we used cash, we're going to credit cash for $200. Remember, cash is an asset, so it decreases on the credit right side. What did we get in return? We got supplies. Supplies is also an asset, so it's going to increase on the debit left side. Now the reason why we increase this asset for supplies is because at the time of purchase, these supplies have yet to be used in your business. So they represent a future benefit or an economic resource with a future benefit, which is the definition of an asset. Okay, let's take a look at the second transaction. On October 1st, the company used the cash to purchase a one-year fire insurance policy for $600. Let's start with cash here and credit cash $600. Of course, by crediting cash here, we assume that previously we must have already had a bunch of debits here on the, on the debit side of cash to increase this balance, and that's why we have cash here to decrease. Uh, we're just not showing that, but let's start by crediting cash $600. The debit side of this entry is going to go to another asset called prepaid insurance, and we're going to increase the prepaid insurance account by that same $600. Now again, the reason why we increase prepaid insurance here is because it meets the definition of an asset. At the moment, on October 1st, that we purchase this one-year fire insurance policy, it represents an economic resource with a future benefit. We have the benefit of using this insurance or benefiting from this insurance in our business over the upcoming year. Okay, let's flash forward now to December 31st, the third transaction here. On December 31st is usually when we'll close the books and do what we call often a hard close, meaning we want to bring all of our account balances up to date. So on this date, it says that $50 of supplies remain. So typically the way we record supplies is we first, like I said, increase the assets account, and then later on, at some point in the future, either month by month, or in this case, just at the end of the year, we're going to adjust the supplies account for whatever supplies still remain. So if you think about uh, this, this transaction, if we started with $200 of supplies and only $50 of supplies still remain at December 31st, you can ask yourself, well, how much in supplies did you actually use? Well, the difference. So this company over the last few months used $150 of supplies. Now we want to reflect that, that entry two ways. We want to first update the supplies account, the asset account, to reflect the new balance, which is $50. We also want to show this $150 as being used or benefiting our business. So let's start with the supplies asset account. That's the easy part. And let's adjust this down, this account down, by $150 or the amount of supplies that were used over the last uh, several months. You can see by doing this entry, we've now brought the balance in the supplies account down from $200 down to a balance of $50 in the account, which is what it should be at December 31st. And of course, we need a debit to go along with this credit of $150. The debit is going to increase our supplies expense account. Now, the reason why it increases an expense account is because as these supplies were used, they were used in the process of earning revenue for our business, and that's the definition of an expense. Okay, I hope that made sense. Let's take a look at the last transaction. December 31st, record three months of the fire insurance policy expiring or used up. So if you recall back, when we first recorded the fire insurance policy, we had credited cash and we debited this asset prepaid insurance. 
Now a few months have gone by. Let's see, I think three months, October, November, and December, as you can see here. And we want to record some of this asset being used up. In other words, we benefited from this insurance policy for the last three months, and we want to bring this asset balance up to where it should be. So the first thing we need to do is to get the, we need to do a little math here to get the calculation right for this. Our original asset was $600. So we're going to take that $600, and if you recall, this was a one-year insurance policy. So if we take and put this into monthly amounts, in other words, we divide this $600 by 12, we get a nice $50 per month uh, in terms of, of this insurance policy benefiting us. In other words, if we had bought this insurance policy and paid monthly, we'd only pay $50 per month, but we happened to pay for it in advance, this full 600 So getting this down into a per month balance, this $50 here, now what we can do is we can say, well, three months have passed, so three months, so take this $50 times three months, we can say that $150 of this insurance policy has been used up. So to reflect that, what we're going to do is come under here under the asset and decline the asset, decrease it by crediting this account by $150. That's going to update our asset balance. The debit side of this entry is going to go to insurance expense. And the reason, again, just like with supplies, the reason this goes to expense is because this represents three months of benefit that we received uh, for this having this insurance policy in effect, essentially. Updating our asset balance here, you can see that by looking at the balance in our account here now, which is, let's see, $450, that would represent our balance going forward in our asset and what we still have left in terms of benefit from this insurance policy. Both of these transactions are similar in many ways, whereas the original cost starts out as an asset, and then the adjustment goes to expense over, the, over time. So as those assets are essentially used up or benefit our business, they become expenses to us over time. So the only thing that really changes is the names on these accounts. Uh, the adjusting process is important because it helps us adhere to the matching principle. And if you recall, the matching principle requires that we match expenses with revenues in the same accounting period. And so the timing here of recording this adjustment at right at the end of the year on December 31st helps us get these uh, expenses in the correct period to match against revenues.